An MIT study suggests robots will create more jobs than they destroy. Bill Studebaker is with us. He's Robo Global President and a big fan of robots. Let me come at you with this. Target and Walmart are using automation to get rid of workers on the shop floor. Robots getting rid of jobs. Make the case that robots create jobs. Well, I think it's definitely the case, Stuart. What you're seeing right now with robots is that there's a lot more collaboration going on. I mean, in the U.S., we have the notion of fear the robots. But everywhere else in the world, it's embrace the robots because robots are really driving higher productivity. They're driving higher innovation. They're bringing more profits. So you're seeing this. So you know, companies like Target and, and Walmart understand the need for innovation. They understand the need for better productivity, which is why they're rolling up more robots into you know, their system. Uh, Target's rolling out 2,000 cash counting machines. I mean, they want to move employment to higher value added, uh, move to the customer. Um, Walmart is rolling out, um, you know, um, inventory analysis uh, robots throughout all of their stores. So um, that's really what's happening. I mean, it's an exciting but, time okay, to be an investor and a consumer. The, it seems to me that robots get rid of a whole class of, of low-skilled worker. But do they create a new class of higher skilled worker by having by robots I mean and, and how Stuart, does that work where do these higher skilled workers come from and what do we do with those lower skilled workers who don't have a job because of robots fair point I think what we've been seeing throughout history was we've been innovating and moving up the the migration um, we've been automating for hundreds of years. 25% of the jobs that exist today did not exist 25 years ago. It's almost impossible to predict what some of the new jobs are going to be. But you're seeing this. Again, we're moving to, from a lot of the automation is around automating tasks, real mundane tasks, and moving into uh, more creativity. That's where the opportunity is for employment. We need to change our education system to be able to give people better and more opportunity. And so I think this is all goes hand in hand, but we're really seeing, I think, the benefits of automation far outweigh the disadvantages. Okay. Sir, we are very short on time because we've got Apple approaching a trillion dollar valuation. So I'm going to cut it short, Bill, and we'll see you again very soon. That's a promise. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Sounds good.